A counter control loop repeats a set of codes at a predetermined number of times, which also means that the loop will stop when the predetermined number of repetitions is reached. Stay tuned to see how a counter control loop works, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get updates of future videos. When you know exactly how many times certain codes need to be executed, counter control loops are the way to go. To better understand counter control loops, let's take for example a Python list which holds a number of values or items. If we were to print the values using the while loop, we need to know the number of items this list holds. We can accomplish this by using the length or LEN function which tells us how many items the list currently has. Using the while loop we will print all the items in the months list and we will use a counter variable that will control the loop. Month counter is set to zero to point to the first item in the list which is January. To know more about Python list, please visit the link above. The while loop condition checks if month counter is less than the number of items in the list, which is provided by the length function. The print function then prints the name of the month currently referenced by the value of the month counter. 0 represents January, 1 is February, and so on. Remember to properly set the value of the counter inside the loop. Otherwise, you will end up having an infinite loop or prematurely terminating the loop. Running the codes shows all the months are printed with no issue. Now while this while loop executes without error, this specific set of codes is more efficiently performed with a for loop. Let's take a look at the following code which accomplishes the same task but with more efficiency and less code. In a for loop, you need only one variable that will reference to each item in the months list. For obvious reasons, let's call the variable month. The for loop automatically keeps track of counting the items for you and reduces the lines of codes from four lines to two lines. The print before the for loop is only for labeling the output for clarity. And as you can see, using the for loop gives the same result as with the while loop. In the next video, we will use the counter control loop in a simple guessing game. I'll see you in the next video.